G'day race fans, my Mark Louth from Black Dog Motorsport and this video is part 2 of the power block install on the BRZ. See you after the intro. Okay, the first order of business is to test the O-rings to see how they're going to handle the heat. So this is a bit of a backyardy idea, but it's just some boiling water into a container and um, just check, check the temperature. It came in around 80 degrees, so the container obviously absorbed a fair amount of the temperature. And we'll just make sure that the O-ring didn't deform, uh, go sticky or anything weird like that. And uh, yeah, look, the end result, nothing to uh, report really. So yeah, quite happy to use it. Okay, one of the other checks that I want to do, I'm only going to do a bit demonstration here because I've got to get around the camera and <clears throat> around the tripod and I can't actually do it properly, but just to give you an idea of the process, I'm laying a straight edge. Now, yes, I know it's not an engineer straight edge. It is a 30 centimeter steel rule, but it's the best that I can do and good enough for this uh, application. What I'm looking for is rock, which isn't, yeah. Possibly, as I say, I do a closer look when you guys aren't here. We also have a set of feeler gauges. And I'll be placing them and see how much, if any, clearance there is. Okay, so that's the process. Both sides, because both sides are mating surfaces. This side to the cylinder head, the other side to the inlet manifold. So I'll do that and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, now I'm just going to drill out this hole so the um, fitment is a lot better than it is at the moment. If you recall, this hole here is a just out. It just doesn't quite fit. Now it's a nine mil, millimetre hole. This is a nine and a half millimetre drill. Got the drill set at about 830 revolutions per minute, which is probably a little fast, but it is aluminium and I'm not taking much. Taking into account, I don't have a vice. So see if I still got a hand at the end. Righto, that's a nine and a half mil drill bit uh, through that hole. These other two are in, and uh, that's lining up quite nicely with the ports in the cylinder head. So let's see how we go. Ooh, that's tight. Yeah, no. Pretty close, but not quite close enough. Okay, that's cool. I'll run the 10 mil through and see where we're at. Righto, run the 10 mil through. Oh yeah, there we go. So there you go, just out. Righto, we've run the drill through. So I've just cleaned up the um, edges with a file, just in case. Got the deburring tool. Looking at it, it would appear, and probably won't be able to see it, but you can just see there's some anodized left here that was quite a little teardrop shape. The drill has started in the proper place on the top when they've drilled it out, but it hasn't gone through straight. That's where I believe the uh, inaccuracy has come from, but an extra millimetre hole is not ideal. And if I paid $500 for the kit, I'd be upset, but at 158 delivered, not so much. Okay, so quick recap. I have uh, inspected both the blocks for fitment, both of the blocks for flatness. Bit of a quick test on the O-rings to see if they're, or to try and ascertain whether they're gonna handle the heat. Everything seems to be fine. I've cleaned, or degreased, cleaned both of the um, ports, main surfaces on both cylinder heads and also on the inlet manifold. Had a bit of a look around inside, make sure nothing's got in there that shouldn't, same with the manifold. So we're pretty much ready to start the install. Um, just looking back at the video on the disassembly, this little piece here didn't come up that well on the video. So this is the nut and everything that uh, attaches it to the um, manifold. So when you undo that one bolt, you get this whole assembly was what I was sort of getting to. So 
Hope I've cleared that up. All right, I'll uh, get started, see how we go. Okay, so I bolted the, man, uh, the manifold and the blocks down. I took a little bit of time to do it, but I just want to make sure I didn't bugger any threads, anything silly like that, crush any wires. I'm just going to go around now, make sure everything's going to fit, see what I have to extend, what I don't have to extend, get a bit of an idea where we're at, get a plan basically. Um, and yeah, so once I've done that, I'll restart the camera and we'll go from there. Right, it looks like everything's going to fit. Um, we'll go back in with the uh, routing wise. That there is going to be a bit of an issue and I wouldn't mind betting that's where our hose extension should go. I'm not going to use that hose extension, it's ugly. I'll repl if, replace that whole piece of hose with one that is the correct length. All right, see so how we go. All right, so our mystery Aluminium spaces. Look at that, didn't even have to revert to the instructions. Second one, nice and easy to get to, kind of not. Oh dear. That was always going to happen. Okay, so the install's well, pretty much complete. No real dramas to speak of. If I can find my pointer, screwdriver will do. ECU, oh sorry, I've got to stop calling it an ECU. The injector module only has facility for mounting with two bolts instead of the original three. Not the end of the world. Um, the little ugly piece of extension tubing and um, joiner wasn't for that fuel line over here that's actually a high pressure fuel line so don't try and um, remove that or extend it it's actually for the right bank pcv valve it's down in here i shall take a photo of that to show you um, this didn't want to fit this assembly here i had to do some very minor bending of this line here be very careful doing that for obvious reasons now when I put the um, radiator and condenser and air conditioning assembly back together there may be an issue here because this is two inches higher, the bend in behind here which you probably won't be able to see may be too shallow now and may require some minor bending but that is aluminium thin wall tube so be very careful if that happens. Other than that there really wasn't any drama. So. All right, well, I'm going to continue on and put the whole front of the car back together and um, we'll see where we are then. Okay, so she's all pretty much back together now. Um, just waiting on the new air intake pipe from the throttle body to the air cleaner. I'm deleting the 
rather useless resonator which is what that tube right there is so I have to block that off that just goes through the firewall other than that it's not too bad the pulleys seem to be tracking fine which is a bit of a bonus focus in on there yeah there they are so reasonably happy with it all considering it wasn't expensive um, 158 delivered I think it was so our fuel system clearance for the strut tower which uh, brace which is always good I have taken a still photo but there is that blue the uh, PCV valve extension piece that came in the kit. It just runs up to the top there. Okay, well I think that pretty much done. Well that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, if you did give it a like, if you want to be notified when any more videos come out, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Power blocks, are they worth it? Look at $500 for a name brand kit, I probably wouldn't go there, a couple of hundred dollars delivered or less for a cheap knockoff, you know what, I'd give it a run. Time will tell, I guess we'll put it on the track and see how it performs, but um, yeah, not too bad. now. If the black dog is chasing you or somebody you know, there are some links in the description that may be of use. Righto, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.